Hello, welcome to Just Like Me Picture Books. My name is, my name is Walter Kuspinski. I'm going to read you a book today. It's called Buster Fight, I mean, it's going to be Femi the Fox, A Pot of jell by Jeanette Cratchy, illustrated by Cat Lego Caballi. Are you ready? Not yet. Right. I'm going to get ready to read you a story right now. Femi the Fox. It was another hot day in the village and Femi was hungry. He is always hungry. His tummy rumbled as he walked through the market looking for food. Mm -hmm. I would love a pot of jealous rice, jealous rice, he said to himself. He walked past the stalls that, that they were selling what colourful clothes, pots and jewellery. And he, he saw the children eating bread and fruit. But no one would offer Femi some food. Ah, ah. Uh, uh, cried Femi. Why they won't they want to give me something to eat? I am so hungry. Femi went to look his friend Sol of the Squirrel. Hello, Femi. How are you? She asked. I am so hungry and no one in the market will offer me to eat. He replied. Oh, that's because you're causing trouble, said Sola. Sola. Suddenly, Femi had an idea. Sola, I know what we can do, he cried. Let's go see Oliver Owl. He is wise. And he will tell us where to find food. Sola, Sola, Sola shook her head. Oh, Olu oh, doesn't like me disturbed in the daytime. Why don't you just wait? I can't wait. Let's go, said Femi, as he ran off into a village. Oliver Owl was fast asleep in his tree when Femi knocked on the door. I'm not, I'm not sure about this, said, said Sola. Sola. But Femi locked the door, knocked the door even louder. Olu finally opened the door. <laughs> Family, what do you want? He shouted. I am so hungry, and one will in the mar no one in the market will me help. Please help me find some food. Begged Femi. No, I do not help. Troublemakers, said Olu. Please, I promise I will be good if you help and Sula, uh, uh, Sola and I will f I find some food, cried Femi. All over Owl told them <laughs> that big Oba was having a party in the palace this afternoon. There will be lots of food. Femi, if you be patient, 
the young prince will the young prince will bring some food to the market. You should just wait, said Ollie. I can't wait. Let's go, said Femi. Before Ollie could finish, run, Femi was running towards the palace. Femi and Sola arrived at the palace. They could smell the delicious food coming from the kitchen. Everyone in the village but the big Oba loved food food and his son Prince Coyote Coyote Femi and Sora had to be very careful around the palace looking around the palace. Sometimes they'll end up in big trouble and they slowly so they slowly crept past the aunties and headed towards the kitchen. Femi and Sola, Sola couldn't believe their luck. They saw sweet yams, stews, plantains, and a big pot of jell rice. Femi's mouth was watering. The jello rice was, was his favourite food. This isn't a good idea. What happens if we get caught? Sola whispered. Don't worry, no one will see us, said Femi. Femi picked up, up the pot of jello rice and crept away from the kitchen as but as soon as he turned to the corner, there stood Prince Cody and Chinny the cat. They have they have been caught red-handed stealing the jello rice. Then he dropped the pot of jello rice all over the floor in shock. Sola uh, had behind him and Prince Coyote began to laugh. Why are you laughing? said Femi. Are you going to tell your father? <laughs> no! I will not tell my father! said the prince. He could not stop laughing. <laughs> Femi, why are you always getting yourself into trouble? Prince Coyote began to explain the jellof rice. You have dropped the animals in the market. I was going, I was going to bring a pup later. Now what look will you have done? Femi covers his eye face in, with his hands. Now no, none of the animals will be able to eat it. You should just wait, did for me, said the prince. See, you see, Femi, all of the owl was told you to wait for a prince, said Sola. Sola was very angry with Femi. He always gave her into trouble. Then, but Prince Kaled had an idea. Femi, why don't you know how to make jell rice? Learn how to make a jell rice. I'll give you a recipe to try and then you'll be never be hungry. It takes a bit of a patience and practice, but I'm sure shall help you, said the prince. Prince Kion said, my father tells me good thing Come to use who wait. I hope you had a lesson for lesson from this Femi and when and when that and with that he gave Femi some gel, the gel of rice and went back to her palace with Chiddy the cat. Femi sighed. 
and it began <sighs> Fanny sighed and began to walk back to the market. He was still hungry. The end You like eating some rice, don't you? I think it's going to be my I think it's time for me to get ready to brush my teeth and get ready for bed. So Thanks. Don't forget to click the subscribe list button and notification bell. We'll see you again from Just Like Me Picture Books. See you again soon. Until next time in Just Like Me Picture Books. Bye bye. <sighs> right. Okay. Now time for.